Hi, I'm Ken DeSessa from Rebelwood. Thanks for joining me today. This video is about reporting in Workday Adaptive Planning. Reporting in Adaptive Planning comes in a couple of different flavors. What I'm going to show you first is what I would call the typical day-to-day -day finance reporting. So I'm going to go into a typical variance analysis report. So this particular report is showing our actuals versus our working budget. You can see that I've got several drop downs that I've included in this particular report that allows me to filter and drill down by the levels in my organization. Uh, you could also see I can select a specific time that I might want to look at. Um, I can also go ahead in and I can actually change the versions comparisons that I'm doing right now. I'm looking at the working budget versus the actuals. Um, there's also notes being displayed in this report. You can see them down here as footnotes. Now, I can actually t show these notes in column. I can show them in line. I can add a report to the uh, a note to the entire report. Adding new report line, and you can see that I just that that a particular note shows right here. Adding new report line. I can actually add a specific note to a specific line item in the actual report itself. Add new line note. And you can see I added a new line note right there. So those are ways that allow you to document the report as you're going through it and, and compare and, and exchange information with other people. You can also take a snapshot of this report and send it out. You can also export the reports to Excel or to a PDF if you'd like as well. Okay, so as you go through the report, you can see there's various mechanisms for color coding and flagging, etc. But as I'm looking through this report, one of the things I notice is a big variance right here. Now, I might want to investigate that variance. Well, there's no need to leave the report in order to do that. The great thing about adaptive planning reports is that they're interactive, they're not static. You can get to and investigate a lot of data just from this report. So as I look at this data, I can see that my actual of $2.7 million compared to my working budget, I may say, well, I need to understand that a little bit more. So it's in my other T&E account, 6450, but I'm at my total company level right now. So instead of guessing where within my total company that variance and why it's occurring, I can simply pivot this report by level, which now takes the exact report, allows me to look at just this specific account of 6450 across all the various levels that I have. So now as I look at this, and I can scroll up and down, I can obviously see that the big overage, right, came within this sales north department. We have $2.6 million when we were expecting a little over $13,000. So I may say, well, why was I only expecting $13,000? I can click on that cell and go into my cell explorer. And I can immediately see the formula associated with that particular entry. And all I did was I took this time last year, so time minus 12, multiplied by an inflation rate. And you can see the evaluated formula here. In this case, $13,181 multiplied by 2.85% or grossed up by 2.85%. So that's how I came up with my budgeted number right there of 13,557. Well, what the heck happened here? Well, once again, going to explore cell, I can immediately drill into all the transactions associated with that account for that particular level. And what I quickly see here is that I had a company lunch for $2,600, but someone entered it wrong and entered $2.6 million. So now I can actually go to accounting with something very specific that needs to be changed and I've investigated that problem and I can move on. Now creating these reports in Adaptive is actually really easy and I'd like to show you how to do that right now. If I click on new report and I'm going to create what's called a matrix report, don't worry about what that is right now. I'm created with, I'm, a, I'm given the report canvas. And really, adaptive reporting is all about just dropping and dragging data. 
As you can see, I've got all my data here on the left, everything from my GL accounts to various metrics that I have in the system to other custom data fields. You can bring literally any type of data into adaptive planning. So let's go ahead and drag operating expenses on there. Okay, but let's also show our gross margin and maybe our net income. Let's add some spacing. Again, all drag and drop. Across the column set, let's do something like the report we just looked at. Let's go ahead and look at some of our versions that we have. And we'll do maybe something similar we just did where we look at our working budget versus our forecast. Let's go ahead and add some calculations in there. Typically, you'd see some sort of variance a variance percentage and a variance dollar. So I'm going to put those in there. It's an automatic calculation. I don't like that long title. So I'm going to call this VAR dollars. And uh, let's give it some red formatting when it turns bad. And let's make this one instead of being a dollar, let's make it a percent. Okay, so I've got my rows and columns defined. Now I want to go ahead and define my filters. Remember those were the drop down boxes and the filtering I had. Now something to consider here is that not everything has to be a drop down box. For example, I can drag 2021 up here, okay, and I can leave that right there and I can then take my level of total company, drag it there as well, but make that a selectable box by dragging it over under parameters. So this report is essentially, it's very quick and easy, but it's ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and run it. It's not going to look like much because we haven't done a lot of formatting and what have you. But as you can see, I've got all my operating expenses on the left. I'm comparing my working budget versus my forecast, and I've got my two calculations. And I've got my drop-down box where I drag, drag my level of total company, but I can now select anything I want if I chose to do that. Um, uh, but notice that the time dimension is not a drop down box because I didn't select it as a parameter. Now, here's the great thing about this reporting is that as soon as I click on it, it's now immediately drillable in all different kinds of ways, right? All the ways that I would normally be able to drill and pivot data. So everything is instantaneous within adaptive planning. So the next type of reporting I want to show you is called Office Connect. So Office Connect is a feature of adaptive planning that connects the adaptive planning databases with Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. So you know a lot of people have those really particular Excel packages or Word reporting that they use at board meetings or for executive presentations. That's where you might use something like this. So here I have what you might think of as a board reporting package. I'm just gonna pop through a couple of these things and give you an idea of what this looks like. Okay, and this is just created in Excel because you'll notice up in the top here, I've got an Office Connect add-in to Excel itself. Okay, so what this does is this combines the data from adaptive planning with Excel. And when I click on this LinkedIn sales button or this linked sales button, everything that is connected to the database becomes highlighted. So all these headers, are connected to the database and, and act, this actual data is also connected to the database in blue. Okay, You'll notice right now this report runs through February of 2021. So let's say my actuals from March come into the system and I now want to update this report. Well that's super easy as well. All I have to do is go to my workbook properties, select my new date, in this case the end of March, hit OK, and then refresh all the sheets. I'm going to go ahead and refresh all the sheets in the workbook. Now this will take just a second or two. OK, you'll see now that everything changed to March. So March was our last, uh, uh, February was our last month in the prior report. It's now March and six months back. You go to the next report, it's now reflecting March as well, and all these tabs across the bottom would reflect the month of March. And it's real easy to add data into these reports. 
you'll notice I've left some empty rows here. What I can do is I can select some of these rows, go into the data that's available, which is all the data I have in the system, and basically drag and drop the data I want onto these rows. Let me go ahead and do that again. Did it wrong. Okay, so now when I turn on LinkedIn cells, you'll notice that all these are now connected to the database. Okay, and when I do a refresh, which we did like we did before, all that data is populated into this particular Excel workbook. And keep in mind, you can combine this data with just normal Excel formulas like you see here in these other columns. So this is truly a combination of Excel with data coming from your adapted planning system. And it works in a very similar manner for uh, PowerPoint and Word as well. As you can see, from day-to-day -day finance reporting to more sophisticated board reporting, Workday Adaptive Planning can meet all your needs. If you'd like to learn more, subscribe to our YouTube channel for additional videos. And don't forget, visit our website at revelwood.com.